Hello dear students. So this question is from gate 1991 exam and is for two marks. Let us have a look at the statement. Then I am going to solve it. Find the minimum clock frequency at which the counter in figure below can be operated. Assume that the propagation delay through each flip flop and each AND gate is 10 nanoseconds. Also assume that the setup time for JK inputs of the flip flop is negligible. Okay. You can see I've drawn the counter here. Now this is one of those questions where only very few students give correct answer. Okay. Sometimes I get answer is equal to 60 nanoseconds. The minimum time that we need to wait for is 60 nanoseconds. Sometimes students say it's 50. They come up with multiple answers. First of all, let me discuss what are they asking. They're asking what is the maximum uh, clock frequency. That means, suppose you have given a clock signal at time is equal to t. To attain maximum clock frequency, we need to find out the minimum time period that we need to wait for before giving the next clock signal. Okay. Can we give the next clock signal immediately? No. Because see, at time is equal to t, you have issued one clock signal. These flip-flops will take some time to react to that clock. Moreover, this input will take some time to reach here and to reach here as well. That means we can't immediately issue the next clock signal. We have to wait for some minimum amount of time. And that is what we are need to, what we are required to determine. Okay. Now let us see what mistakes do students commonly make. Some of them say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we need to wait for 60 nanoseconds. That's completely wrong. There's no logic in this. Some of them say we need not consider this last AND gate because its, it's output is not being used in this circuit. So we can wait only for 50 nanoseconds. That's also completely wrong. And one of the students came up with this idea that one, two, three, that means we need to wait for only 30 seconds because setup time for these flip flops is uh, zero. That is negligible. It's given in question. This is also completely wrong. When you're saying setup time is equal to zero, that does not mean that they will not take any time. Setup time is a completely different thing. First of all, let me discuss what is setup time. Say at some time T is equal to X. These inputs are available. Setup time means the minimum amount of time that you need to wait for before giving a clock signal. Okay. Sometimes what happens is if inputs are available at t is equal to x. Okay. That is some input. Say 1, 1 is available at time t is equal to x. And immediately at this time only t is equal to x you generate a clock signal. What could possibly go wrong is these inputs they are not yet registered. Okay. So there is some minimum amount of time that you need to wait for before giving a clock signal. In question, they are saying setup time is negligible. That means you can consider setup time to be zero. That means we can actually give the clock immediately. Okay. But that does not mean that this gate is not going to take any time. It will still take 10 nanoseconds to generate the output. Okay. Now let us see what is the correct approach to solve this question. Say one clock signal is generated at time is equal to T. Now we need to determine maximum frequency, which also means we need to determine minimum time period. Okay. That is minimum time that we have to wait so that everything works as expected. Now time is equal to T clock is given to all three of them. That means all three of them will react to the clock based on these inputs, whatever these inputs are values of Q, Q and Q could change. Okay. That means they will take 10 seconds to change these values of Q0, Q1 and Q2. 10 seconds are used here. Then after these 10 seconds have elapsed, these outputs are available. Okay. That means possibly this output of AND gate and this output of AND gate could change. Okay. This one also could change, but we will not consider it because this output is not being used at all. This is kind of a useless AND gate for this circuit because see the output of this counter is values of Q0, 
क्यू टू क्यू वन एंड क्यू नॉट दिस एंड गेट इज नो इन नो वे हेल्पफुल इन जनरेटिंग दीज वैल्यूज ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर ओनली दीज टू गेट्स नाउ आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड दीज आउटपुट्स आर अवेलेबल ऑल द क्यू वैल्यूज दिस वन विल टेक एडिशनल टेन सेकेंड्स टू जनरेट आउटपुट ओके दैट मीन्स आफ्टर टेन प्लस टेन सेकेंड्स दिस इनपुट सॉरी दिस फ्लिप फ्लॉक विल गेट द एप्रोप्रिएट इनपुट ओके लेट अस से दिस इज फ्लिप फ्लॉक वन आफ्टर टेन प्लस टेन सेकेंड्स फ्लिप फ्लॉप वन विल गेट द करेक्ट इनपुट दैट मीन्स एट दिस टाइम वी कुड गिव क्लॉक टू दिस फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड इट विल वर्क परफेक्टली फाइन बट द थिंग इज दिस इज अंक्रोनस काउंटर द क्लॉक हैज टू बी गिवन टू ऑल ऑफ दैम एट द सेम टाइम so we need to consider this one also okay see now after 20 seconds this input is available as well as this gate uh, input to this gate is also available the same signal okay this will take additional 10 seconds so the total becomes 10 plus 10 plus 10 to generate output that means after this much time flip flop 2 will get the correct input okay so now this one also has the correct input this one also has the correct input and this one anyways will have the correct input always because the input is directly connected to ff0 okay this is flip flop 0 after these many nanoseconds 30 nanoseconds all of these have correct input that means after 30 nanoseconds we can directly give the next clock signal because setup time is zero now because inputs are available we need not wait uh, for some x amount of seconds that is setup time okay it's given as zero now there's one more point that i want to discuss before calculating the answer okay or let's just see what is the answer we have seen the time period of clock is 30 nanoseconds so frequency is 1 upon time period that means 1 upon 30 nanoseconds 1 upon nano means giga so this is 1 upon 30 giga hertz so times per second means hertz okay so that's the reason i've converted second into hertz and nano is converted into giga also this can be written as 100 upon 3 mega that means this will be 33.33 mega hertz this is your answer the frequency maximum frequency that the circuit can operate at is 33.33 megahertz if you try to go beyond this frequency the circuit will not just work as expected because inputs are not yet even available whatever the output was generated that has not reached here as well as here and at that time only we are giving giving the next clock signals so that that will not work okay we need to wait at least for 30 seconds so that all of the outputs reach as the next inputs okay now yeah one more point that i wanted to discuss is some of the students think see after 10 seconds this this as well as this is generated after 20 seconds this one will also be generated and it will be available as the input okay here most of the people make a mistake what the think is see after 20 seconds this one will be available they think this is going to take 10 additional seconds that means 30 so after 30 seconds this is available and this one is going to take 10 additional seconds that means 40 they give a answer as 40 or the time period as 40 okay this is incorrect this one will take no time because it can't simply react to make this flip flop work or to make this flip flop to respond to any input you need to provide a clock signal okay this will only respond when a clock signal is available that means you need not count 10 seconds here because we are not providing any clock we are just counting how much time is required to provide the next clock okay so after 20 nanoseconds this input will reach here but this output it won't change because we haven't given any clock so this will remain as it is whatever was the pre previous value this one will remain as it is and you add 10 to this 20 for finding output of this and gate it will actually be available after 30 nanoseconds only 
सो आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री मेगा